some basic meanings that can be attached to the symbolism of a turtle is certainty, forbearance, bravery, dignity, trust, truthfulness, honor, contentment, patience, reserved, moral regard, thankfulness, generosity, and kindness. Some turtles are quite rare, so elusive and all that can be attached to it too. But since that turtle had what, if you look at it from a certain angle, 34, well, the four is not the same direction as the three, but um, already had 333 as a symbolism video, so definitely that would, but 34 came to regard first. Um, but some basic meanings of 34 are my departure, queen and king, feminine and masculine, esoteric, exoteric, and ethnic processes, exalting love and beauty, virtuous luxury, abundant finishing touches, sad source of power, working towards a truce, worrisome power, east or west and northeast, above or below and east or west. So, in the Bible, the first verse, uh, I mean, the verse that we come across, that's the 34th verse, is what they call Genesis, you know, Rashid 2, 3. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. We brook al him at yum hash be a we dush atu ki boo shabbat muckle mul actu asher bra al him shoot. And whether you believe that a god can rest or slumber or any of that, um, we can look beyond that or its context. It's just one example. But a better example of a 34th verse might be found in Al Quran, Surah 2, Ayat 20. Seven. Alavina yan kuduna dalai min baade mitha fehe wayak tauna mama rallahu fehi yan yusala wayuseruna filarde. Those who break the compact of God after a solemn promise and sever what God commanded that it be joined and make corruption in and on the earth. Those are the ones who are losers. See, it's not that the world judges by itself here or anything like that. But, um, 
So we come now to words that equal 34. Baal, Baal, uh, Romans 11, 4. I die shape, Luke 3, 22. And if there's further reference to these terms, you're going to find them first in those verses. We chi live. Genesis 5 3. And, you know, I'm giving translation after the thing. Bubble. Babylon. You know, from Bab Arush. Divine gates. Um, Genesis 10 10. Yet you live. Genesis 12, 12. Yiddick, hand. Genesis 21, 18. Bubki, weep. Genesis 20, uh, 45, 2. Chiyu, live. Genesis 47, 28. Lebub, heart. Exodus 14, 5. Bulb, heart. Exodus 15, 8. In this case, it looks like the the B letter. I know, I know what it's called. I'm just saying, um, is the prefix in with by that sort of thing. Um, we do together. Exodus twenty six twenty four. We the sin. Leviticus eight fifteen. Dull poor. Leviticus 14.21 Gaul Redeem Leviticus 25.26 Kadi Enough Leviticus 25.26 Achihud Ahihud Numbers 34.4 Wahbuk Love, Deuteronomy 7.13. And let me point out the difference between um, Aramea, which is really what Tonic is written in, and Hebrew. In Hebrew, the K suffix is, you know, you or something. But subduing or taming or that sort of thing is what it is in Aramea. So, wah, gidu. Tell, to draw me seventeen nine. Um, adding or joining or whatnot. When you see the wow as a prefix or a suffix, that's kind of what's happening. Um, wa cha. Live Joshua nine twenty. Wakach strength Joshua seventeen seventeen. Wabi hua. And by increasing existence, Joshua twenty two nineteen, And, of course, we mean there that we are looking at, you know, joining by God, you know, increasing existence, um, establishing established. So it's an interesting little formula you have for the name of God, but it never translates as Lord. People mistranslate it or obscure it because they form, you know, superstitions about that sort of thing. Um, Abka and weeping, Judges eleven thirty seven, and so it relates to the term for tent and stuff like this. So I question whether there's a lot of intentional things, because the Kaaba, you know, people say, well, the Baca references have nothing to do with, um, well, it depends on what you're, you know, this could be something completely different, but um, when there's a place called Baca in the Psalms, you say, oh, it's not the same thing as, well, it's the Hagarite Psalms, isn't it? Um, that should be enough. Um, but there's the implication that there's like a tent thing over. Now, nowadays it's black, because the grayish, um, black was the color. So, um, but 
throughout history, there's been different colors of cloths on top of that cube at Mecca. Um, Yaziz, Jaziz, First Chronicles 27.31, Kashab, Gold, Ezra 8.27, Wachuk, Mouth, Job 12.11, Chabu, Mouth, Job 20.13, Wachiya, Psalms 88.3, Live, Bakbud, Glory, Psalms 112.9, Wach, They, Sin, Proverbs 8.36, Deek, enough, Proverbs twenty five sixteen. Wah, truth, thread, Ecclesiastes four twelve. Dudek, Song of Solomon five nine, beloved. Abiak, come, Solomon eight two. A lot of those rituals where people say, come and name the spirit and that sort of thing. That, Abiyak, was probably it, right? Um, Sahbuk, gold. Isaiah 30, 22. Or, you know, not, I mean, that could be an option. Um, Wathith, Meyer, Exodus 50, uh, I mean, Isaiah 57, 20. Wapku, weep, Jeremiah 54. Wakub, chub, Ezekiel 33. Gla, reveal, Daniel 12, 22. Nuz, continents, Daniel 12, 31. Wah, chwa, Show, Daniel 5.12. Cooch, Strength, Daniel 11.6. Now, the break in the order in which they occur in Tonic um, would have been this part, would have came before this part. Kachu, Strength, Judges 16.5. Ahbuk, Love, 1 Samuel 18.22. Kadud, David, 1 Samuel 22.14. Wakbu, Quenched. Second Samuel fourteen seven. Weeb Yah come first Kings three one. Yitch thou sin first Kings eight thirty three. Keed hand first Kings ten thirteen. Wug Chazi Gahazi Second Kings four thirty one. Wab Yahud Ahihud First Chronicles eight three Lud Laud First Chronicles eight twelve Wuz Badyah Zebediah First Chronicles eight fifteen Now I can't on the spot tell you what all these names mean. Um, I mean, you know, some of these are just words, but uh Zebediah, Zebediah, First Chronicles twenty six two, Yahu, Yibed, Jehozabad, First Chronicles twenty six four. Anyhow, you know, because of the etymology, you can pick any of these apart and have further 
meaning other than their um, more basic meaning, I guess, with some of them. Um, because every two, three, or you know, every, every letter has its um, significance as either a particle by itself or part of a two, three, four, or even five letter root. Um, but the sage does not consult the oracle. The sage directs the oracle. So whatever use you make of any of this, whatever context, whatever you say about that context, it's up to you, but there are more options. I've noticed as I've done this, I've thought of more that could be a little bit more that could have been done with this, at least to fill the board.